It is normal that there are competitors in the market and, by the way, the good news is that the existence of competitor is a good thing because it means that there are customers for that kind of product or service. But to get those customers, you need to differentiate yourself in some way and to think better and different than others. Of course, from the beginning, my startup couldn't do everything better than everyone else, so I had to make choices about which aspect I want to focus on most to, to achieve the sustainable competitive advantages and concentrate the resources. So I made a list of all the activities needed to produce the service and thought about which one I wanted to keep internal in order to specialize it and make it become a competitive advantage. And on the other side, which one brought a lower added value to the service was less relevant or cheapest to externalize. It is vital to have a clear marketing strategy with well-defined goals and objectives, as this, as, um, as this is that drives and guides all company activities, which Sarah clearly understands, of course. This is how the decision flow runs. Marketing strategy dictates the direction the business will go in. This is important for your business, of course. This will then inform the marketing plan, which is the more detailed blueprint print of how the marketing strategy is going to be actionated. Beneath the marketing plan, you will have specific tactical activity which are delivered in line with predetermined plan. Any marketing strategy should thus address the following aspect. Mission, vision, and values. It is critical at the start of any business to fully determine it, its purpose, its reason d'être, to which needs it Respond to which are the progress it will bring in. This is the first point. The second point, or they may sound similar, objectives are actually the exact opposite of purpose. While purpose is broad and intangibly goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. The third point of a definition, the product or service you will offer should be characterized as accurately as possible its nature, its characteristics, its price, etc., etc. It means it's all around the product or the service. Target audience. Finally, defining the product or service you propose will allow you to narrow down your, tar your target audience. This will allow you to save advertising money and time while improving communication efficiency. Competitive posi uh, positioning. Having clearly defining your offer and precisely determining your audience will all allow you to position yourself in the chosen marketplace is an accurate manner that's identifying your competitors. This is very important. Be they direct or direct and direct competitors and the way you will have to create a comparative advantage over them. Road to market. These are the channels through which your product or service will reach its audience. This will dramatically impact on your overall strategy, marketing plan, and of course, activities. And the last point, um, do not underestimate the importance of the process. The process is really important in your, to build your startups. Of course. You could have a solid marketing strategy, but if your process are weak, it could end up I would say a disaster.